Oh man. We got ourselves the really awesome Naughty Dog Lost of Us Part 2 Joe and Abby statue. Welcome to the Loot Gaming channel. What we do is we unbox really awesome collector editions, showcase all the awesome loot, and most importantly, if it's worth it. If you guys enjoy these videos, give us a like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. But having a look at the packaging over here, fellas, oh my goodness gracious me. I am really feeling it. Let's kind of check out Joel first in the flesh. And honestly, I could definitely say this is absolutely well done. You can see the bottom over here, Joel figure, Lost of Us Part 2 in its amazing glory. Naughty Dog, obviously we know this was produced by Dark Horse itself. Side profile over here, we can see the Lost of Us Part 2. The back over here. How nice does this look, man? The packaging of this is absolutely phenomenal. As a collector, I make, I keep all my boxes. I will never get rid of any of them. And you can see basically different kinds of orientations of Joel. And I cannot wait to kind of show you guys this. The top of the box is even nice too. You can see The Last of Us Part 2 looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's open up this box right now. Okay, fellas, now we're gonna open this up nice and slowly and appreciate the awesomeness of The Last of Us. I'll kind of just get this out. Awesome, so now Joel is out. Let's have a look at this awesome artwork here. Because usually they like to create really awesome backgrounds. But let me just show y'all what I can see. So it's got a really awesome background here of The Last of Us looking so damn sweet. The really nice uh, jungle background, dark sinister, black in the back. Back, of course, just white. Let me put that bad boy to the side. Let's have a look at Joel and see how well they did Joel. All right, and over here we got some Joel action. And of course, you know me and my channel. We'll go through all the really epic details of how epic this statue looks like. All I can say, fellas, is oh my goodness gracious me. Oh man. Lost of Us Part 2. I absolutely love the base. Feels really nice and premium. Underneath, what does it say? It just says 2002 Sony Interactive Entertainment. Surprise why it's got this liquid at the bottom. Confused, but anyway, let's just continue with this review. The back over here, this looks exactly like Joel. Like there is no, there's absolutely no um, negative comment I could give. Every bit of it, the jacket done exceptional. The boots look so well done. The jacket, perfect. Man, the hair, the face. Oh my gosh, let me, do, let me do a bit of a zoom in, if I can on this camera. But all I can say is that the detail of Joe right now is looking absolutely superb. Wow. Now this is what I'm talking about. Let's have a look at the guitar. The guitar looks really well made too. The gun looks real nice. Even over here, you can see the guitar itself. It is very sensitive, so don't you know be too rough on it. As you can see, it's moving a bit. But I'm loving the fact that the made you know the internal is lighter, darker to kind of blend in the paint job. Honestly, guys, this is definitely a ten out of ten regarding detail. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that statue. Now, of course, we want to check out Abby, the most hated character from The Last of Us Part 2. Obviously, I'm not going to ruin it for some people that haven't played The Last of Us Part 2. <laughs> but let me know in the comments below. Did you guys really hate Abby? Personally, for me, I had no issues with her because, of course, she was, you know, she, 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 in my opinion, did something that was pretty mean. However, it was justified in my personal opinion. But, of course, we'll, we'll kind of put Joel to the side. Packaging for Abby is also pretty nice. Pretty much consistent to Joel. Lost of Us Part 2. 
The back over here, basically how Abby will look like in her amazing glory. Just have a look at her, man. Woo! Man, I'm, I'm so excited to collect these. And on top, of course, The Last of Us as well. Let's get her out. If we can, nice and easy. Whoops, before this drops. The background basically is identical to Joe's. So I'll just kind of put that to the side because we've seen that background already. And yeah, she is. Let me just put it down. And let's now have a look at her in the flesh. But yeah, first impressions, this looks absolutely dope. Alrighty guys, so of course, pretty much identical to the Joel one, The Last of Us Part Two. Really loving this. Kinda do wish this lit up, that would be so sick. Underneath, do I still have that nice, yeah, a little bit wet. Bits of scratches, but who doesn't, you know, who really cares about the bottom? But overall, Abby, this is definitely a like for like. Abby in a muscular glory. <laughs> Just have a look at her, man. Look at her. Face paint job was done absolutely phenomenal. The gun pointing at everybody. Just kind of tap to zoom into that. Done absolutely awesome. The hair, absolutely love the braids on the hair. They did a really good job with that. Paid a lot of attention to detail when it came to it. Dark horse, these guys are dangerous. The textures of her arm. If you guys look really closely, there's actually a bit of freckles on her arm. That is just so incredible, man. The back over here, Abby. Her nice vest. Her hammer on her right hand. This chick is a beast. Having a look at the base over here, I really do like it. I love the fact that it's different to Joel. Adds a bit of difference to the statue. But yeah, overall, a gorgeous piece of loot. So these over here are both statues with their really awesome background. And honestly, this background really lifts up the detail of both statues. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. But overall, I think this is really, really awesome here. Yeah. Joel and Abby, the one, the one that I'm missing, of course, is the Ellie statue from Dark Horse, which, of course, we got on pre-order. So stay tuned for the unboxing of that. All I need right now, fellas, is the post-pandemic edition on eBay. And that's actually retailing for 1,200 Australian dollars. But the one that we have in Australia does not include the steel case or even the comic, just the statue. And honestly, I cannot wait to pick that up. So I can show you guys my Last of Us loot. But overall, I think these statues were done exceptionally well. These retail for around 120 Australian dollars. But of course, you can, you can grab this bad boy from Gamesmen for 89 Australian. So you guys will be able to save around 30 bucks and not get it from EB Games. But overall, fellas, would I recommend this statue? Absolutely. If you guys are massive Last of Us fans, this statue is definitely a no-brainer. Go ahead and pick this up because this details that Dark Horse put, absolutely phenomenal. But we are The Loot Game. If you guys enjoyed this video, just give us a like and a subscribe. Right now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to mount these statues on our lovely gaming wall here and show you the finished product. Last of Us Part 2 Collector Edition. Last of Us Part 2 Joel and Ellie statue. And of course, the boxes. Right now, what I've done to this wall here is actually use a special adhesive that actually sticks onto the wall without getting, you know, uh, damage in the box and also ruining the paint. But this over here is the collection so far. Stay tuned for the unboxing of the post-pandemic collector edition that of course we will be mounting above these two boxes. But yeah, that over there is the video of the Joel and Ellie statue. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Deuces.